I would say I don't want to embarrass myself, but I got some confidence this year that hopefully I can play better. Questions? Expectations, I mean, after last year, did you exceed them? And Definitely exceeded expectations uh, from last year. Um, I think going in this year, it, obviously every round you play, every shot you hit is a new shot, so you just want to, again, have confidence, enjoy the moment. Um, but I definitely feel like I can use the experience last year and the uh, few chances I get to play tournament golf to my advantage and, um, and see what happens. So just got to get off to a better start and not hit it into a cup holder of a golf cart mm -hmm. first shot tomorrow, or Thursday. How does this year feel different? And that confidence you said you have, is that from playing here last year or are you playing well lately? Or? No, I just, uh, I play in an event in Tahoe, the American Century every year. That's a, another type of tournament atmosphere, but it's a little bit more uh, laid back and fun. This is obviously guys live and live on the line. Um, it's true tournament golf at the professional level. So um, I know, you know watching the guys that I played with last year, and Steven Yeager and Sam Ryder, and this year, um, Martin Trainer and Cameron Champ, I, I'm not going to see a lot of bad shots at all. So I got to keep up. Stuff up. I met up with Andre a month ago at Kareem and he said that he played with you sometime during the playoffs, maybe the finals, and he said you shot a 67 here. One is it true? In all that information. <laughs> 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 is it true? And two, do you have the game right now to shoot that in tournament conditions? I hope so. Um, every golfer hopes you can repeat your best round in whatever course you play or kind of repeat those swings when you're in a groove. but. Uh, Obviously, you never know. So I'm going to use the next 48 hours to get right, um, get as many swings in as I can, and uh, come with high expectations on Thursday and see what happens. So is that confirmation of 67? Uh, I plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> what was going right that day? Huh? When you shot the 67, what was going right for you that day? So I would put the tee in the ground and hit the ball straight. <laughs> and it would land in like the shortest grass. <laughs> Hit it straight again and be close to the pin. I had that flat stick working. <laughs> we, we don't understand it yet. <laughs> uh, but I, you just you have a groove, kind of like when you're shooting. Obviously, you don't really think about much. You're just shooting. Same thing out here. You don't really think about much when you're playing. Well, you just swing and things, you know, happen. So uh, I, I, you have days like that, and it's always fun. That's what keeps you coming back. Steph, you mentioned true tournament golf. What did you learn from last year's experience here? about true tournament golf. What is different about that than Tahoe or other rounds you've played? Well, in Tahoe, I feel like I'm one of the better guys out there, so it's a different kind of, kind of confidence out here. And I know I'm well, you know, well in over my head in terms of the talent out here and, and preparation, but uh, there's little nuances to, you know, I watch tournament golf, pjaweb.com, golf on TV every week. Um, when you're inside the ropes and you understand, um, just how guys go through their rounds, how they process, you know, the information, how they you know, snap back from bad shots, and bad holes, uh, just their overall consistency. It just gave me obviously a, complete, a, a, a deeper appreciation for you know, the talent out here, and um, I think just understanding what I need to do to get myself in the right frame of mind throughout the round, just to ease my nerves, because uh, that was the most nervous on that tee box over there. Thursday of last year, that was my most nervous thing I've ever been, standing over a golf ball. Um, and so hopefully I can use that to my advantage this year. Uh, there's been a lot. I feel like this is a yearly thing we ask. How has it been for seeing the Western Conference, particularly um, with the Lakers ringing up? How, does, how do you guys feel about that? Kind of the moves that have happened over the summer. We go through history and there's been you know, blockbuster moves and trades every year, uh, or most years, I should say. And uh, every team is trying to beat the champs, so uh, nothing really surprising. You just uh, kind of sit back and understand, you know, survey the league, survey you know what's going on, how we can get back on top uh, this coming year in and, uh, and three feet. So it's uh, there've been some big names, obviously LeBron and, and other guys moving. So uh, we know we need to control. We control to be a better team this year. We have a new. Uh, addition as well, a couple new additions. So, got to hit the ground running in September in training camp, and and understand as every year is chasing a championship. It's a different year, and you can't just carbon copy what you did last year to, to like, be successful. Is this kind of strange to process a picture of LeBron in a Lakers uniform? Uh, I think I've seen some photoshopped images. So.
It is a little different, but um, on the court, it'll be the same guy that you expect to play with. What does it mean to you to be here supporting the Warriors Community Foundation? Well, it's important to me, obviously, with the Bay Area being my home and being here for uh, going on 10 years. Uh, the work that we've all tried to do to help, you know, impact the, the community at, at large here and the fans that support us day in, day out. The Warriors Community, community Foundation has done a, a great job of doing that in, in terms of education and things like that. So, um, you know, with the LMA class and their partnership has been uh, a great journey and, and, you know, my involvement as of last year. And I uh, see the guys that came out here yesterday as a part of the Warriors Community Foundation team and all that. Uh, we're trying to, you know, raise a lot of money, and I think uh, that's a huge reason why uh, this tournament is successful. A different feel coming in here this year than last year. You had the chatter leading up, like, should Steph take someone else's spot? You don't have that this year. Do you feel like you kind of proved that last year, because of your success, that you belong to you can hang? I, I, yeah, I can hang. That's a strong way you said. I don't, I don't necessarily know if uh, I hope to prove that I can hang You know, even, even stronger this year, but if I would have came out here and shot 100 or been dead last or whatever, probably would have changed the dynamic. But my whole goal this year is just to, again to have fun, continue to raise awareness for the game, support the web.com guys as they pursue their, you know, their cars on the PJ Tour and, and, and this uh, you know uh, this great opportunity they have. And for me, just just play well and have fun and, and try to do better than last year. You have many years of your basketball career left, but after you're done basketball. What do you think, what will golf be? Will you play a lot more, try and? Possibly? I'll definitely play a lot more, but I won't uh, pursue anything professionally. I, I know I just want to be a part of the game and grow in the game. Uh, it's, it's been something that I've, I've enjoyed. It's given me and my dad and my family you know, a lot of great moment, moments and, and memories and uh, to continue to raise awareness around how fun this game is and how uh, we can open doors for a lot of people that don't necessarily know about the game right now, unlock some talent. Um, and try to continue to spread uh, the game as far as it can go. And that's kind of what I want to do. And there's a lot of different ways that I can go about that. And, you know, this is a good start. More questions? You said, that, you, you said you're, uh, you're, you had court at Belt and Bushrod, and then you had your event yesterday. Um, you were good with LeBron. How did you feel about when he opened up a school and, and what he's doing over and out? It was amazing to see. You know, every NBA player is trying to find a way to impact whether it's where the city that they play in or where they're from or um, communities at large, at risk youth, whatever the case is. and uh, It's very visible what guys are doing and sometimes there's stuff that happens behind the scenes that nobody knows about that guys are doing. So I think that's important to understand LeBron it was a, a huge gesture and a huge accomplishment in terms of you know, opening up a public school that can serve his community. Uh, I can go down the list of, of guys that are doing something in their own ways and their, their own uh, you know, passions and things like that. So. Um, like I said, basketball has been great for all of us. It's, it's provided a way for us to provide for our families and, and uh, create legacies in that sense. And we all, feel, I think, feel the responsibility to uh, do our part to give back in any way that we can. Steph, you, you talked about um, playing better than last year. As well as you played last year, obviously two solid rounds. You still missed the cut by quite a bit. Do you even think about trying to make the cut? How oh, for sure. Cut? I went back and. Uh, I knew I missed the cut by 11 shots, right. so I was like, all right, where the, could those 11 shots have come from? Where could I shave them off this year? Um, stay away from doubles. I think I had two of those uh, last year. I think I had a penalty shot on one of the par fives. Like little stuff like that is a true golf nut I think about. Whether I can execute it or not is another question, but I feel like I can save off 11 shots. Who knows what the cut will be this year? But, um, that's my goal. Try to execute the, uh, the the game plan, I guess you would say, is uh, what, I, what I've come up with. What's the biggest thing you learned that after those first two rounds that you learned last year? These that you guys didn't are know? really good. <laughs> <laughs> really, I know I was a tagline back in the day, but uh, they're, they're amazing talents. They, 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 they grind every single week, every single day, just to have a shot at, at winning tournaments and, and taking the next step up. And, Making it to the PJ Tour and then establish himself in the PJ Tour and winning tournament. So the difference between you know a good round, a bad round, or a winning tournament and, and not is so so thin. Um, it could be one shot here, one putt there. So just an appreciation of how serious it is out here. Um, see what these guys go through. Great, thanks, Steph. Thank you. Thank you for going out this way.
Yeah. Or do you want to? Yeah, because yeah, his clubs and stuff are down there with Johnny. Okay. 